Okay, welcome back guys. We're going to be solving under question from second chapter of the Merriam textbook, question 46. And in this question, in raising the pole from the position shown, the tension T in the cable must supply a moment about 0.0 of 72 kilonewton meter. And we need to determine the T. Uh, so basically, what we have in the question as a given is that we know the moment of t about 0.0 is 72 kilo newton meter and looking at the moment we'll see that this tension is going to make a moment in this direction about 0.0 and since we call the counterclockwise as always positive this will be positive too since the moment is counterclockwise but the question is um, how we're going to find a moment about these point as we discussed in the previous videos in this chapter for finding the moment we have force and we have the position vector which is basically any line that connects the point that we are trying to find a moment about to the line of action of the force which is this and each of these can be position vector or distance vector so obviously we're, we're trying to pick the one that is easiest for us to find and if we look at this we'll see picking this one would be the best option here and the reason is that so we have this force t in here which this will be uh, if we call this our y and x this will be the y component and we'll have so the vertical would be the y component and the horizontal would be the x component and we can see that the x component is passing through the point o meaning there is no moment from that specific component of the force t so basically all we need to do in here if we call this angle alpha what we have in here for the vertical component or the y component will be t sine of alpha and we don't care about the the cosine the x component which is t cosine of alpha as i mentioned there is no mo moment for that component so all we need to do in here is to find the alpha and let's see how we can figure out the alpha uh so the way we can figure out the alpha is that if we look at this right triangle here i'm going to highlight it in yellow so this right triangle in here we can figure out the dimensions uh, for this one we know from here to here we have 12 meter and if you figure out this side and this side we get to find the alpha so that side is pretty easy we know this one is 30 meter so if we look at this we know this angle is 60 degrees meaning this part is hypotenuse which is 30 meter we know that the hypotenuse of this one is 30 meter so 30 times cosine of 60 will be the base and 30 times sine of 60 would be the other side of right triangle that we are trying to find in here so if you do the tangent of alpha we basically have the opposite which is 30 times sine of 60 degrees over 12 plus 30 cosine of 60 degrees so if we find the tangent of alpha we get in the numerator 26 and the denominator we know the cosine of 60 is 0.5 so 30 divided by 215 plus 12 27 and from here alpha would be the tangent inverse of 26 over 27 which if we calculate this with the calculator we get 43.9 degrees so now that we have this we can find the the moment which we know is 72 kilo newton meter and basically we have t sine of alpha uh, times the r that we have in here which is from point o to the end of the line of action crossing the horizontal so that would be 12 meter so the only unknown that we have in here is t which would be 72 divided by 12 times sine of 43.9 degrees and if we calculate this obviously this is based on kilonewton meter and the force that we're gonna get would be based on kilonewton so yeah that would be the final answer for this question 8.65 kilonewton so yeah let me know if you have any question please don't forget to subscribe to the channel like and comment it's gonna help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one mm -hmm.